There's one gift you can give your child that can help guarantee success in life. It's reading. From the moment you open the first pages of your child's first book, for the very first time, you'll begin sharing one of the most important life skills any parent can offer. All parents want their children to succeed, and reading is the tool that can help make that happen. We now know that so many good things happen to children throughout their lives when they discover the joy of a good book. As children get older and are given the opportunity to read more, facts show they actually do better in school. As they move into the workforce in their early adult lives, they can expect to earn better salaries. Again, thanks to reading. Hi, I'm Senator Tom Libis. Reading was difficult for me in school. It was really a challenge. I can remember sitting in class and while the other kids were reading aloud, I couldn't. Because of some great teachers and some good tutors, I learned how to read. That's why I started the books program. Throughout Broome, Tioga, and Shenango counties, the books program promotes the idea of reading. We've come up with some great ways for kids, parents, and grandparents to all stay engaged in reading. During this short program, we'll be sharing many free tips so that you can promote reading in your child's life. That's one of the things that the books program does. Books is a partnership with Mooresville State College. Mooresville has a long history of education excellence, including offering a very unique early childhood associate's degree. This course of study prepares professionals who will concentrate on the needs of young children and their families. With their guidance, we've created a unique program that rewards children as they read. But more about that later. Right now, I'd like to welcome Dr. Raymond Cross, the president of Mooresville State College. Well, we're very excited to be a part of um, this program. It's a, uh, it's a nice fit for our institution. Uh, it blends nicely with the goals and intent of our associate's degree in early childhood development. It also helps us participate in the process of developing uh, young readers, which is fundamental to learning at any level. It's such an important foundational base. Uh, people who read well almost always do well in school. Sharing the joy of reading is something that can begin very early in a child's life and it has great meaning, particularly in a child's early years. And what you read isn't nearly as important as the fact that you are reading. When you read out loud, you give your baby the chance to hear one of her favorite sounds, your voice. So share a book with your baby. You'll deliver a happy feeling that she'll associate with reading for the rest of her life. Here's Margaret Hoos, early childhood educator for Morrisville State College. Throughout my years of study and teaching, I've learned that children are born naturally curious. As the adults in their world, it is our job to be their guides. As their guides, we can develop the key attributes of being a reader within a child. We do this by offering children opportunities to expand their knowledge of the world through books and conversation. This is really important from birth on. Their expressive skills grow as they discuss books and the world around them. These are all key elements of becoming successful, literate adults. Thanks, Margaret. There are many things a parent can do to help their child become a better reader, and it won't take a lot of time or it won't cost you money. Here's some things parents have done to help their children become better readers. We bake together, and my child reads me the recipe. We bring books with us when we have to wait somewhere, like a doctor's office. We've made it a habit to read together at a family story time. One of the best ways to help your child become a better reader is to set a good example for them. Let them see you read. As your children get older, they can begin reading aloud to you. Every once in a while, have them read a newspaper or a book to you. Reading aloud helps to hone a child's reading skills, and it doesn't matter who's doing the reading. Reading offers added benefits too like bonding and a feeling of security. Reading is a vital tool that can help your child's future, but it also helps strengthen your family as well. I loved reading to my own children. I have two sons, and even now, as they are nearly grown-ups, they thank us for reading to them, and they say that it was one of their favorite experiences. And so I'll read to my kids, I'll read to anybody's kids who will sit and listen. And the beauty of it is, it's a very 
close experience. It's a very intimate experience because you're looking at the page together, you're turning the page together, you're, you're breathing together, you're, you're almost moving together. Um, and once you're finished with the words on a page, and I do love the words because I am an author, the pictures provide so many details to sit and look at and discover and how many red things can we find on this page, how many blue things, how many things have wheels. So there's much more to reading beyond the words. The books program offers kids a real reason to read. We do it by rewarding reading, but not in the typical fashion. Books rewards kids for the amount of time they spend reading, not the number of books read. This gives every child, even children with reading challenges, a reason to pick up a book and start reading. More than 10,000 kids have joined books since its inception. It's easy to do and it's free. You can register by visiting us online. Visit the book site at booksprogram.com. Here you can fill out an application to receive your free reading rewards log. Each year we create a new log filled with new rewards kids can earn just by adding up the time they've spent reading. All you have to do is write down the time you've spent reading and when you've reached a level, send in your log. Books will send you free rewards and a new log for you to continue your reading. The more you read, the more rewards come your way. And you don't have to read to earn rewards. Someone can read to you. Another way to help your child read is take them to the library. We have great libraries here in Broome, Tioga, and Shenango counties. They're all free and they're all fun. I take my children to the library and let them choose their own books. Throughout Broome, Tioga, and Shenango counties, libraries offer a lot of great books and they offer some good special programs for kids. And the books program helps. Here's Margaret Cooper. We have uh, many programs for children to promote reading in this library. We have programs for infant through two years old. We have a toddler program for two to three and a half year olds. And we have a preschool program for three and a half to five year olds. We also have a Bark Nine dog program that we added a year or so ago. And that's a program where if children are having problems reading in a group or to their parents or to a brother or sister, they can come and they read to the dogs. The dogs are especially trained to sit with those children and the trainer is right there with them and they read to the dogs. So that's a really nice program. At local libraries throughout the region, Books supports reading by buying books. Since the beginning, Books has helped libraries add to their existing collection of children's books. And we've also helped them add to some of their classics. Our goal here is to make the library a fun and exciting place to visit. And so throughout the year, Books Grants sponsor reading activities. Here in Whitney Point, we sponsored an appearance by noted children's author Suzanne Bloom. A room full of kids had a lot of fun. Here at the Endicott Library, Books was pleased to sponsor a ventriloquist and his many friends. You have a shield, you've got a sword, you're wearing everything a night war. Everything except the iron underwear. <laughs> That's not nice. And on that evening, a lawn full of kids, parents, grandparents, and friends had a great reason to visit the library. We know that for the most part, that up until the fourth grade, children learn to read. After that, children read to learn. Books pays close attention to something called the National Reading Report Card. This ongoing assessment by the U.S. Department of Education monitors the reading habits of America's youth. The report card is slowly showing improvement. 54% of fourth graders read something for pleasure every day. That's up from 50%. But only 19% of high school seniors read anything for pleasure daily, and that can be a problem. So Books also works with teachers to help keep kids engaged in reading. The classroom is the ideal place to put books reading rewards to work, too. Any reading of any subject counts as an opportunity to fill out another space on the book's reading rewards log. What matters most is that kids get in the habit of reading. Reading programs that establish reading with parents and teachers, like the books program, has really been a wonderful aspect to our reading program here in kindergarten. 
we love being able to read together both in school and know that parents are also doing it with their, with their children at home. Whenever I am reading to children or talking about reading, I want them to walk away with the feeling that they can do this. That when, when a child says, I'm, I'm a writer, I'm an artist, or I'm going to be a writer, I'm going to be an artist, um, that's testimony enough that, that we've made a connection and that what they have to say is important. And I love that moment. I love it when I get a letter from a child who says, I felt like I was the only person in the room. That makes me feel very, very special and as if I have connected. Reading just isn't for home and school. You can help your child become a better reader even when you're in the car. One of our favorite things to do as a family before we travel is to draw a map. Sarah makes her own map of the route we're about to take and then as we drive along she finds the road signs, towns and bridges that we see. When we go places in the car we like to play word games like Scrabble and Boggle. When we're in the car we sing rhyming songs or play rhyming games. One of the challenges that most parents face today is an electronic one. Most kids have access to computers, cell phones, iPods, and video games, and the list goes on. And while each of those devices can actually assist the child to read, too often they become just an easy form of entertainment. One of the simplest things you can do to help your kids read is to turn everything off. We turn off the TV and have a family game night at home. But you're thinking turning off the TV is too much of a battle? Well, try this. We watch our favorite TV shows together, and sometimes we turn off the sound and use closed captioning so we can read the dialogue. Owning a book is a great motivator for reading, and giving a book as a gift is a great idea. When you give a book as a gift, you never have to worry what size it is. And giving a book shows reading is important to you. We love to give books for birthdays and for holidays because giving the gift of reading is one of the best gifts that you can give. Throughout our area, Books is opening up new ways for families to rediscover the fun of reading. If your travel plans take you through the Greater Binghamton Airport, kids can visit our newest Books and Beyond exhibit in the Departure Lounge. Like its twin exhibit at the Discovery Center in Binghamton, Books and Beyond provides a fun place for kids to wait while they listen to local celebrities read popular children's books. The easiest way to learn more about books and to take advantage of dozens of easy-to-use reading tips is to visit us online at booksprogram.com. If you and your family would like to become part of the Books Reading Rewards Program, you can sign up there. But you can also learn about recommended titles, there are fun, safe activities to take part in. Remember, when you become part of the books family, we reward your reading. It's not the number of books you read, it's the amount of time you spend reading. And it's easy to become part of books. Visit us online at booksprogram.com. You'll discover how quickly you can sign up. We'll send you your first reading log, and then you can begin reading your way to some great rewards. When I was a young man, I had difficulty reading. Actually, I didn't like to read, but some great teachers and some great tutors really helped me. That's why I created the Books Program. The Books Program is a fun way to teach your child how to read. Helping your child become a better reader is a gift that will last a lifetime. So open up a book and start reading. <laughs>